Hey friends, hey, it's your girl Kitty. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a ride or die part of KKC, welcome back. Today guys, I am doing Burger King. I am doing a Burger King mukbang. I got my Coke. And I have the Bacon King, the Jalapeno jalapeno cheddar bites, matzo sticks, and onion rings. And I got some marinara. I have a couple packets of ketchup and a packet of the Heinz mayonnaise for my onion rings. I have napkins. <laughs> um, but yes, before we dig into this deliciousness, I would like to give a shout out to my MVP for the month of May, just Megan. I will leave the link to her channel in the description box below. Go check her out and let her know Miss Kitty sent you. Go show her some love, guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this food. Where do I start? I think I want to start with a, a jalapeno cheddar bite. We're just going to remove these little bags. This is like a perfect little setup I got going on here. I have like a little garbage can right beside me. All right. So let's get into the jalapeno cheddar bite. I don't know if you guys can see in there. <laughs> okay, there must have been... I thought there was only four in the little bag, but there must have been five because Jamie tried one. They're all right. Let's get into this beast. Oh my gosh. Guys, are you kidding me? I know I said I was giving up beef, but every once in a while, not going to be an issue, I guess. I don't know. I'll just deal with the consequences. Let's get him marinara open I don't know if I want to set that right there <sighs> yum Was a little cheese pull. What a day. Guys. Actually not what a day, what a week. Now, typically, I usually only get, like, a Whopper and onion rings and a drink. But I was like, you know what? Give her, bud. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Um, I just figured... I'm going to put 
the mayonnaise back here. That I would get a couple of extra things to try. Well, I had planned on getting matzo sticks. I'm sorry if I keep bumping the microphone. I figured I would get, um, well, I planned on getting matzo sticks anyway. Because I was like, oh, who was I watching? Jesse. Over at Jesse, Jesse Cahill. Um, awesome girl. Great channel. Ooh, awesome mukbang content. Go check her out. Um, what was I doing? Onion ring. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was her doing a Burger King mukbang. I was watching some older content. I was just eating my supper. And watching because that's usually what I do if I'm not filming when I'm eating my dinner or my lunch or I'll go find whoever's posted something new in the mukbang community um, I want another onion ring and she had matzo sticks anyway and I was like oh Yum. So I've been just like Burger King. <laughs> Get some Burger King. Um, I had a couple things I wanted to talk about. I've just been like, there's been so many people that have been like, like, motivating me, inspiring me. Um, And like multiple areas of life in general. And it's people of all ages, races. None of that none of that matters, but just say like it's a wide range of people, just beautiful people. Um people I have interacted with on YouTube, people I have stumbled across in the public like some people I don't even know their name but just like lots of things have been like like captivating my mind and you know things people speak on can really stick with you. Um, for instance, <laughs> um, you know, Vanessa over at Nosh with Ness, if you're not familiar with her, go check her out. Another great mukbang channel. Um, spoke a little bit like she talks. Um, well, I shouldn't say a little bit. Like she talks about it frequently, like the law of attraction and this and that and I mean, I'm, I'm a full believer in all of that, you know, like our thoughts become things. I do have the secret, the book. I do have it. I do read it, but I'm feeling more drawn to not just read it, but live it breathe it, feel it. And those jalapeno cheddar bites are pretty good. I wish they were more cheddary though. If that makes sense. But anyways, 
So just like a wide range of people have like, you know, everyone from celebrities or I've been seeing like little signs everywhere, like something someone will say in a commercial or, or I'll see a sign like we're driving somewhere and I'll see, like I've said before in my, in past videos, there's signs everywhere. Don't ignore them. Don't ignore them because they will keep getting louder. Mm -hmm. They'll keep getting louder until you get it. Until you get the message. Um, but I was just sitting here like in my feelings, I guess, or just like, just, I was sitting here with myself, if that makes sense. I was just, just chilling, having a little smoke sesh. <laughs> And just vibing and listening to music and um, no, I, I wasn't listening to music at this point, but I was just chilling. I think I was watching something on YouTube, some true crime or something. And I, something like lured me, lured me, or just made me pause what I was watching. I wasn't even finished watching it. I paused it. And I put my headphones on and I went on my phone and I went to my Spotify. And, uh. As soon as I opened the app, right there in my face was like, um, what was it called? Uh, meditation with Christopher, like a podcast. I've never really listened to a podcast before. I've been interested and like curious, like what types of podcast, oh, we're going to save that. We're going to eat a matzo stick. Like, what types of podcasts are out there? Yum. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Mm. So basically, it was like right in my face. Literally. Not basically, literally. So I click on it. And I'm scrolling. Mm. And it was like six ways to protect yourself if you're an empath or... Um, an HSP, highly sensitive person. Me! <laughs> so, I, I was led to this. I was, I was led to this. And I started listening to him. And like, just the vibes I was getting from this, this young man. Um, he, just the way he spoke, with like the, like meditative style, like, um, what are they called? It was like a frequency playing in the background. So it was like this, like meditative frequency, like 
calming sound and then his voice and him speaking it was beautiful and basically like if you are an empath or a highly sensitive person which there is quite a few of us in the world um this was just like ways to help you protect you and Oh, where'd it go? Ah. Okay, so the six the six things to protect yourself. Make sure you are charged up. Put yourself first. Set boundaries with people, places, and things. Um, number four, look for positive aspects. Number five, mind, mind your focus. What you focus on grows. And I believe that. If you are constantly in a negative mindset, which I have a habit, a very bad habit of doing, I let things get to me. I let me get to me. Like, honestly, I, like, self-sabotage, I am my worst enemy. I think a lot of you can uh, understand and agree. Um, and number six, create a lifestyle that actually serves you. And he just spoke on each one. Um... Like he, he had said, the law of attraction is always responding to you, your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Everything. Ab like when Vanessa speaks about the law of attraction, like guys, seriously, it's real. It really is. And like when she, Vanessa mentions about like, and I'm sure not just Vanessa, you've probably heard other people say like manifesting things. And, you know, people think, oh, well, manifesting things, you got to manifest. If you're manifesting things, it's positive. No, you can manifest negativity to yourself. Um, what else can I share? I just wrote down, like, key things he said that, like, really stood out to me. <clears throat> like, put yourself first. It's never our responsibility to tend to someone else's energy. Don't feel obligated. Your obligation, you know, yes, be a good person and be there for people, but put you first. Put you first. I'm going to get ketchup all over the place. Mm. Um, like, it's completely okay to help people and be there for others. But you got to make sure that you are charged up. If you're not good, if you're not good, um, make sure your glass, your glass is full before you help others. Um, like it's not selfish to protect your energy and... you know, for you to make time for you and take space and time for you, you know, and you don't owe an explanation to anyone. You, they don't have to understand it. I'm not saying just up and jump and go MIA and not communicate with those that care about you and w worry about you and wonder how you're doing. 
you don't completely shut yourself off, but that's where the setting boundaries comes in. Like, hold on, I'm not good right now. I need some me time. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm getting full. Dang. So. I just thought I would share some of that with you guys. Again, if you have Spotify or I'm not sure if he has like his podcast on other I don't know how that works, guys. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Like other platforms, if he's just posts his stuff on, he might even be on YouTube. I don't know. But it's Meditation with Christopher. Um, I just like was really like it literally something drew me to it. And like the whole term energy vampires, he brought that up too. Energy vampires, they will suck the life out of you if you will, if you let them. Don't let them. You're in control of your life. You're in control of your energy. You're in, you're in control of your reality. Like, we all have the power. We all have the capabilities. It's just a matter of, like, listening to listening to you listening to the, the universe mm. <laughs> mm. and he says You can't say yes to someone else when you're, when it's a no to yourself. Do not disrespect yourself, basically. Like, there's only one you. Love you unconditionally. Oh my goodness. Um I'll I'll save that last little thing I wrote down from listening to him. I'm going to eat this jalapeno popper. Mhm. Mm So good, guys. <clears throat> did I even drink any of this? I don't think I did. get really full fast when you're talking a lot. That is typically why I don't do like a lot of food. Like I normally don't. This was just like, I'm going to go a little extra, extra. Read all about it. Anywho. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, chit chat mukbang with me I hope you got something out of the things I spoke on um again please listen to the signs oh excuse me don't ignore them 
there's signs everywhere. I believe there are signs from the universe trying to guide you. I believe there are signs from loved ones that have crossed over into the afterlife. Um, heaven, whatever you want to call it. I am a firm believer in all of that. And so I will leave you guys with this. You are who you choose to be in the present moment. Yes, you are who you choose to be in the present moment. Love that. <clears throat> so guys, I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Deuces. Oh yeah, I go for my COVID shot in the morning. Wish me luck. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.